Can you hear me, sir? Can you hear me, please? Can you hear me, please? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Munir Majid Foundation is our platform. Through this platform, poet Munir Majid, poet Norul Haq, Sandra Bolin, and many international poet literature, all are giving efforts to accumulate us and exchanging our views on international culture, various source of religion, and it will increase our bondage of love, peace, and tolerance. It's a great opportunity to talk about the spirituality and the religion, that is the spiritual science, that was focused by a scholar, I'm telling the name, Shubrato Shaha. His topic was very similar with me. And I'm really, I was so surprised to seeing the uh, mantra, listening the mantra of Maushumi Vattacharya. And I was thinking about the hidden meaning of the mantra. Yeah. Dr. Jainathul, Dr. Nurul Haq, and many scholars said very nicely. And I'm really grateful to Dr. Stephen because many times he analyzed the speech of the discussion, the presenter. So what I'm saying, at the, at the beginning, I'd like to say my gratitude to uh, poet Nurul and poet uh, Munir Majid, uh, Nurul Haq and Munir Majid. And that it's a very good platform. And I'm, I was so really scared about talking talking about the religion. And uh, poet Nurul Haq said, uh, I don't be scared. You just uh, share your beautiful views. Uh, because the world is running in a different way. Where in the name of religion, people are attacking each other. If people are killing each other, then I was a bit scared about talking, talking about the religion. Then I said uh, to Nurul Haq, that may I talk about the good sides of all religion, that is uh, the spirituality. He said, okay, go ahead. And I was so, I was feeling so grateful that uh, he has allowed me to talk about the spirituality. So the question is, so when I was uh, in the home of my mother, what was my religion? Then after coming, in the world, what is my religion? Then when I will be departed, what will be my religion? In the in the boyhood, I asked many questions to my parents and religious leaders. They did not answer. They could not answer. They said, don't ask too many questions about religion. You believe it. Then I asked, what if I was born in Hindu family? What if I was born in Christian family, Buddha family? That is in Buddhism. And I'm Muslim. By born, I'm Muslim. I'm Jyoti Vishesh. My name is 
Arabic name. I'm Zohir. I'm a Zohir in Bangladesh. So, Muslim. I'm a Muslim. But while I was born in Hindu family, then who am I? I'm Gautam or I'm Krishna or uh, I'm, I'm somebody. I'm Richard when I'm in, I'm John. I'm in Christian family if I was born in. Then how can I identify it? What is actually my religion is? Is the vital question. Then I started tolerating by myself. What I'm saying is I started tolerating other religion. I love all the religion. So I started something to understand what is the hidden unity of all religion. That is the spirituality. If you break the pen, the particle, or anything, my spectacle, if I break the spectacle, you, what you will find? Uh, electron, proton, or that sort of thing. Then if you break it again and again and again, what you will find? You will find three things. Energy, frequency, and vibration. You know, every religion, it is said, God is everywhere. God is everywhere. So, there is no birth of God. There is no death of God. And there is no relative of God. God is everywhere. So, and it is in the same form, always. And God is everywhere. Where? In the mountain. In me. In the insect. In the animal. In the, in the ocean. So, wherever you are, in the Hira mountain, under the Ashwatthu tree, in mosque, in temple, in cars, wherever you go, God is there. So, God is there. It is what? It is a spiritual science. And if you talk about the specific religion, Muslim, Hinduism, Christianism, it is external. It means it has some culture, it has some, it has some rit, uh, ritualism, ritualism. If you use the tupi in Bangla, that is cap, a specialized cap for the Muslim people, that is the ritualism of the Muslim people. If you go to the temple, there are certain types of costumes and dresses of different religion. It is what? It is external. If it is internal, then what? Internal is eternal, in my view. It means all the gods of all religion is same. That is, in my view, in my research, I found there is energy, frequency, and vibration. It doesn't have birth or the death or the religion. God is everywhere. And I cannot say who is correct, who is wrong. Then what I can say, I can say that everybody has the right to say their opinion, whatever he or her, his or her Belief is they can express. It is what? Tolerance, it is respect, it is love, and it is peace. And it is the way of democracy. So religion, in my view, religion is increasing the way of democracy. If I have tolerance, if I have respect, if I have love, uh, if I have brotherhood relation with every human being. So, if I go to the external ritualty, then it is chaotic. People are killing each other. It, it is brutality. Why people are killing in the name of religion? To get benefit. What sort of benefit? Political benefit. But they are using the name of religion. They are killing Muslim. They are killing uh, Buddha people, Buddha, uh, so Buddhists, they are killing a Christian. No. In my view, very, it is very clear, I'm definite that it is terrorism. 
while we faced Gulshan attack in Dhaka city, international attack by certain type of people, then I researched a lot. Then it was very similar research with a researcher of uh, Canadian, that is uh, 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 the university, I forgot the name of the university, Al Alberta, University of Alberta, uh, a scientist, political scientist. Uh, I found the similar, the similarity between his research and my research that the terrorism has certain types of characteristics. So in the name of religion, some people are doing terrorism. They are not believe in religion. They are not believers. They are taking some advantages, political advantages, creating chaos in the name of religion, killing by the religious, killing the religious people. So what I said, it is very clear, my friend, my intellectual circle and all the scholars, my humble request is uh, to believe that the, it is the political agent of the killer people, but the no religion is bad, no religion is uh, uh, what? Uh, superior or inferior. No religion is superior and no religion is inferior. It is my belief because all the goal and the, ob goal and the objective of the uh, what uh, the certain types of prayer rituality if i go for prayer then there is rituality uh, in 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 my personal life what i did is i'm sharing with you i went to the temple i went to the uh, christian church i went to the several religious uh, practice to understand uh, what is what, what is what religion is. It means uh, I tried to understand by reading Bible, by reading Quran, by reading Tripito Gita, uh, and so on. So what I found is uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianism, Muslimism, all the religions are equal right of the world people. That's why. Uh, my belief is uh, we need to increase the tolerance, uh, love, and respect for the people, whoever the person is. Then I'd like to say some words in poetic way. For example, if I ask, who are you? I'm the temple. Who are you, please? I'm the mosque. Say it again. I'm the church, I'm the tolerance, I'm the love, I'm the peace, I'm the Ashutta tree, I'm the cave of the Hira mountain, I'm Muhammad, I'm Jesus, I'm Buddha. Who are you indeed, please? Indeed, I'm nobody. I'm energy, I'm frequency, I'm vibration, I'm voice of God, because God is in me. And I am in God. I am in God. So, thank you all. What I said is the similarity, the hidden similarity of every religion. That is the spiritual science. Uh, thank you, poet uh, Nurul Haq. Thank you, Monir Majid. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, all my respected intellectual audience. Uh, and, thank you, uh, Dr. Joy Vishash. Thank you very much, sir. You have delivered a wonderful and most important speech to us now. We are near end. 